everyone welcome back welcome back to my youtube channel it is your girl valerie here and i'm back with a new video if you're new to my channel i do all things motherhood lifestyle faith vlogs on this channel i do a little bit of everything but i do a whole lot of god and if this is something that you're interested in please go ahead and subscribe if you're back hey babes hey it's your girl we all know it's vlogtober and instead of giving you guys a vlog today i kind of want to do a sit down video and chat with you guys and just talk about my top five non-negotiables as a new woman a couple weeks ago i told you guys over on Instagram that I'm a new woman I am not doing the same things that I used to do before I want something different I need change I want to change and I don't want to be the same person so yes I am a new woman as of like two three weeks ago child but yes I'm a new woman and I want to talk to you guys about my top five non-negotiables that I have to do I do not care what it is I don't care what's going on it has to get done by all means let's just get this video started so before I start, I really just want to say that becoming a new woman has to be a choice. It can't be because others are doing it. It has to be a made up mind and it has to be a made up decision in your heart, in your mind, in your body, in everything that I really want to become a better version of myself. I'm not doing this for nobody else. I'm not doing this for likes. I'm not doing this for video. I'm not doing this for clout. I'm not doing this for popularity. I'm literally doing this for me because if I don't do it for me, I don't know what's going to happen to me. You know what I'm saying? You have to have that type of mindset. like. It's me versus me. I can't no longer hold myself back from the things that God wants for me. And I can't keep making excuses as to why I'm not achieving the goals that I write down or achieving the things that I know I'm, so, I'm supposed to be achieving because of X, Y, and Z. No, I'm going to become a better version of myself and I'm going to do it with a made up mind and a made up decision. So the first thing on my list is I have to lay my bed every morning. I have to lay my bed every morning because I don't know, just looking at my bed and just walking by my room and seeing that a bed is laid, it just makes me feel good. And it just makes me feel like I could achieve my day knowing that the first thing I did was lay my bed. Laying my bed sets the tone for me for the rest of the day. Like I have to lay my bed before when I never used to lay my bed, it gave me an excuse to go back into my bed and not do anything else but if my bed is laid i kind of like tell myself i don't want to mess it up so i'm not going to go and lay down i'm gonna go do something else and that kind of helps me check off all the things that i have on my list for the day the second thing on my list is that i have to read a chapter of the bible every single day now i'm in a book of acts so it is about 28 chapters for the whole book so each day i read two chapters a day and i'm currently at like chapter 12 or 14 right now but basically I believe that if you're in a relationship with somebody you're going to do your due diligence to make sure that relationship is working you're going to do your part and the other person is going to do their part I believe in the current season of my life and the space that I'm in and this new woman that I'm becoming God has already done his part I just have to kind of meet him halfway and continue to do my part. And how else are you going to restore a relationship? Or how else are you going to deepen a relationship if you're not all in? I have to be in my word. I have to be praying. I have to be fasting. I have to be listening and 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 looking for his answer. And the Bible helps me deepen my relationship with God. And I also believe that now that I've been taking the Bible serious and really doing like the real, like really studying the Bible, I have literally changed my viewpoints on a lot of situations and things. My heart is starting to, you know, become more softer. It's starting to become the heart of God. Um, I'm starting to really like worry, like forget the gifts. I'm really starting to worry about my fruit. Am I really bearing the right fruits that I'm supposed to be bearing as a Christian, as God's child? Like, what am I? Where am I lacking at that I could become better in? And reading the Bible has helped me tremendously look at things a different way. So yes, that's a part of my list. So the third thing on my list is I have to work out four times a week. Listen, listen, listen. I have to work out four times a week as a wife, as a mom, as a friend, as a mentor, as a teacher, as... A, I have a bunch of titles next to my name and I'm spread out all the time I just need a moment for me and that moment is in the gym that moment is when I'm working out and so I have to work out four times a week and not only is it helping with my mind but it's also helping with my looks babes I look good mm -hmm. been on one end when I haven't been consistent with the gym and I've seen how my body looks and how it made me feel versus the other end when I have been consistent my body is changing I feel good I look good I like like my I don't know if it's endorphin and endorphins I don't know if it's that but 
it, it's high. My levels are high. And I'm just, I, I'm so happy. I'm more kind. I'm nice. You know, it's just, I don't know. It just does something. Working out just does something for me. Why fix something that's not broken? So I'm going to remain, you know, working out consistently as I've been doing four times a week. And yeah, I love it. And then the thing is, y'all, don't think that you have to work out strenuously. Like you have to do heavy, heavy lifting. You could walk 10,000 steps. You can go to the track. Do things that allow you to move your body, um, whether it's low impact or high impact, but make sure you're working out. Like that's workout, sis, workout. The last thing on my list is I don't partake in what's trending. I don't gossip. I, I don't I don't feel good. I don't feel good doing it. As of recent, I literally unfollowed the shade room because the shade room was just bringing so much mess on my feed. And what you are looking at and what you are feeding your mind is kind of what's going to come out your heart and your mouth, if that makes sense. And I just got tired. I never I just stopped. I, I wasn't feeling right, you know, gossiping. I wasn't feeling right talking about what's going on like I, I i don't know it's just something that i didn't feel comfortable doing anymore and so i made the conscious decision to not do it so i don't i don't gossip i don't partake in what's trending i don't put my mouth on people instead i pray um and i keep it pushing and to be honest if i want to be a better person and i'm becoming this new woman right i have to also become a better christian and we all know that gossiping and christians can't mix god looks at gossiping as a sin so I'm not going to be sinning willingly um, because we're talking about this or we're talking about that or this is what's going on in the world right now. No, God didn't say, hey, talk about it. I'm not talking about it. So yeah, I do not partake in gossiping. I do not partake in what's trending. I try to keep my mouth off of others and I pray. If I see something, I'm praying. That is it. So that's the end of my list and I don't want to sound like I'm just talking but I do believe doing these five non-negotiables has literally elevated my life somehow some way because it all makes sense it all works together and it's lifting me up rather than bringing me down and so if you're someone who's trying to become a better version of themselves if you want to become a new woman write down your top five non-negotiables and stick to it for 21 days because it says it takes 21 days to break a habit right or to form a habit so do it for 21 days and then come back on the video and tell me how you feel literally i've been doing this since i decided i wanted to become a new woman and i have seen a drastic change in my lifestyle i have seen a drastic change with my mind um the way i speak the way i show up for myself and yeah i definitely do believe that with the right mindset and the decision to make a change you're going to see results instantly because it's something that you are literally working towards and striving towards and wanting the best for so yeah so this is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed this if you like a little sit down video if you like me talking let me know in the comments and i'll definitely be doing more of these in the future i love you guys and i'll talk to you guys later bye